Hey guys, I am back with another video and today is going to be a what's in my Michael Kors small GG handbag. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have this bad baby stuff to capacity and I don't like to when I wear it I just kind of leave it open like that and just to kind of answer everybody's questions that they may have this question is it heavy yes this little this little baby is heavy but I think it's so stinking cute you also get a shoulder strap and I really like the fact that it's thick I feel as though purses that have a thicker strap um, they're more comfortable to wear especially if the bag that you are wearing is is heavy it just kind of makes it a little bit more comfortable so just a little bit of housekeeping this bag is right now on sale like you can go to the Michael Kors boutique online I think they have it at Macy's I haven't seen this blue one on sale they have it in the light brown and the white and then they also have solid colors like black and uh, I've seen kind of like a coral color just really cute colors so anyway it's just like a little tote and you have a zipper but if I were to zip it up I would be able to fit substantially less stuff in here and you know for me the whole idea is to just kind of show you what all you could actually get in a purse this size you do get an outer pocket and you also get this little cute Michael Kors charm this particular bag doesn't have any feet I wish that it did I think that when bags have feet it's just a little bit better especially when you go out to eat you know you don't have to rest your um your purse doesn't have to actually sit on a surface even if it's not the floor it just doesn't have to touch a surface because at the end of the day you know we really don't know if it's clean yada 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 so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and start off with this outer pocket and the first thing that I have that I want to show you all, and it's just a magnifying light. You can put it up against whatever you're reading. I'm just going to pick up my phone or one of my phones and it has a light and then you can actually see word for word because I have been met a lot of times even with my glasses, I still can't see. So this helps me a lot and I just kind of like to keep that along whenever I can remember it because a lot of times I'll have it at the house and then by the time I leave the house, if I haven't pre-packed my bag, I don't have it in my bag it's just a big mess <laughs> so anyway um, the phone that I have in here is that I'm using is the iPhone and this pretty much is a really good fit in this outer pocket okay and I also have Kleenex and that's it and I really I really don't like having it there because um, it does it it kind of distorts the bag a little bit just kind of stretches it out and I don't I just like it how you know when it has just that clean flat look but I will use it so anyway let's go ahead and look and see what I have inside of the bag first up I do have a little pill pouch and I think probably every lady has this and it just has three little compartments and I just keep a couple of pain pills and maybe an allergy pill in that so I have that I also have a little pouch like this and this says uh, chill vibes always and this is just a little trinket that I found in a boutique you know how when you go in your mall you see uh, just so many different boutiques that have just little trinkets in it and when you open it up I like to keep my glasses in here and these are just readers okay and they fold up just like this when I saw these I think I got these out of Dollar General or the dollar store and they actually fold all the way out okay and I keep them in that little circular thing to just kind of keep them from being broken and this is and then you put them on okay and that's that okay of course they need to be cleaned <laughs> but uh, I have several pairs of these because it's like the little cheap readers that you get out of the store see look how cute they you know and just a little regular old pouch and I put them in there but anyway it seems like these readers the little cheap ones that you get out of the Dollar General or wherever they break so easily all right so next up I have a little mini binder and this says big ideas and you all have seen these type of things they have 
have them in Claire's, um, you know, other little boutiques, and it just provides you with little notebook papers. And it's just something that you can use to just kind of jot down little notes. A lot of times I find myself, particularly when I'm with my husband, you know, if we if we see a new restaurant, you know, we gotta write down the name and do all this and write down the numbers and you know look it up, look information up, and that's mainly what I like to use this for. Could I use my phone and open up the notes and then jot it out there? Yeah, I could, but a lot of times this is more fun. So if you're one of those people that just kind of likes to stick with or never lose the art of, of writing and you, you like stuff like this, this is something definitely fun to have in your bag. Next up, I have my little coin purse and I have my credit cards and license here. And then on the inside of the bag, I have... Uh, my coins and my cash and this little coin purse has starred and featured in so many videos but I like to keep the smaller one or carrying a smaller bag instead of the the larger wallet I kind of reserve you know keep those larger wallets for when I'm carrying a bigger bag but for these I just kind of you know pull out a smaller coin purse and call it a day all right so next up I have the Altoids Arctic seriously cool mints and this is in strawberry man let me tell you if you all like those um, like type of mints and candies that literally turn your mouth into ice you will love this if you've ever had these you know exactly what I'm talking about it just literally turns your mouth into ice plus they taste pretty good too so I have that that. All right, so next up, I do have a, just a little small can of Lysol, and this is the travel size. This is the disinfectant spray, and I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when if I go out to eat, or it, it, it just depends. I may I may spray it a little bit and just kind of let it sit, <laughs> you know, or or wherever. It just kind of depends. But you never know when you might need to spray a little something down, or where you may find yourself, especially if you're on the go a lot. So next up, I have. Have two items and I think that every lady should have some mace and this is a little stun gun this little uh, stun gun has a light on it um, so if you find yourself uh, there's the light and then you can see there's the actual part that actually you know you use to zap somebody with but hey protection ladies always and see how small it is this is so small just get you can get it from Amazon just just make sure you have a little something in your purse because you you just never know all right so next up I have some hand sanitizer and this is from Bath and Body Works and this is in the stars I got this a while back I'm like well I'm about halfway through with it and the notes for this particular hand sanitizer is sandalwood so if you like those type of ambery type of scents this would be the one to go to I also have a little bit of a first aid kit right here all right and so inside of it I have a triple antibiotic a little bandage right here that you can wrap up some alcohol pads some band-aids a sterile gauze safety pins a little thing of scissors a little bit of tape hook your bandage together and you know that's just a nice little compact pouch and I also have my key fob right there all right and I also have some perfume and this is it and this is actually Burberry this is the Burberry goddess fragrance when I bought this from Macy's they actually gave me a sample guys this is this smells so good it has three types of vanilla so if vanilla is your jam you definitely have to uh, smell this and it's just a refillable travel size see and I'm sure you all see have seen it stuff like that 50 times over I also have my keys and I have my keys on this little coach keychain this is the one that has the the little uh, carriage on it and it also has a little sign that says coach and I just have my house keys on it it's really cute all right next up I have a little pouch and in this pouch this is the smackers pouch you know the little smackers lipstick uh, what originally came in here was a lip gloss a fingernail polish a little chapstick but what I decided to put in it a Sephora mascara and I also have a lumify eye drops and this is just in case my eyes get red or tired and I mainly like to carry that 
if I'm gonna be out for a long day or a long night or if I feel like my eyes might get tired I just kind of want to always have something for that I also have a peppermint organic lip oil and this is by Dr. Bronner and if you're one that's big on organic this and organic that this has lots of organic ingredients and then I have a little thing of deodorant this is the native deodorant and this is the cucumber mint and this actually works and this I don't have this in there because I might leave the house without deodorant no ma'am no no ma'am no sir <laughs> I always leave leave the house with deodorant but if ever I need to freshen up that's all is something good to have and I also have a little thing of Vaseline okay and I just use this as a moisturizer this purse is so small I mean I guess I could have a um, a larger thing or a little tube of lotion but I just like to use this one and this is the cream brulee uh, lip therapy and you know that you can use this on your skin as well so I just don't use this for my lips I use this as a moisturizer anytime that I go to the restroom I don't wash my hands my hands get notoriously dry and so I always have to have some type of moisturizer and I have a fingernail file which is pretty standard probably in every lady's purse and then I have this little gadget I've talked to to you all about it before and with this one you can use it uh, on your phone you can also use it to open doorknobs or or hang stuff with it's just a lot of different things that you can use with it's just a good gadget to have especially if you try want to try to avoid uh, touching things with your finger um, what else now I also have some soap hand soap and this I'm gonna always carry it because it never fails if ever I'm out I, it's just sometimes you have that restaurant that doesn't have any soap and it makes me wonder okay if y'all don't have no soap what are the people that's cooking the food what what are they washing their hands with so anyway um, I keep the soap in this little plastic thing and you can get this from uh, Sephora it has a little soap and this is plastic so after you use it it's plastic you don't have to worry about your purse getting dirty or anything like that it's pretty standard I'm sure probably lots of ladies use that and then next up I have a little lint roller and I like to carry this particularly if I'm wearing something dark or maybe let's say uh, my pants are dark or maybe my top is light or something where it's gonna be some lint transfer or it depends on where I'm going I always try to pack my purse kind of uh, according to where I'm going for the day you know I don't know if I'm the only one that does it but yeah that's the way I pack this and then the last up I have a lip gloss this is by the house of Siage, and this was their Disney collection this is so cute um, and it's just a red lipstick I would say it's a cross between a matte with a little bit of hydration in it and it's red and you'll always find anytime you know I'm talking about what's in my purse I'm always gonna have some kind of red lipstick always I'm gonna have some type of red lipstick and that's largely uh, due to you know where I'm going you know so that is pretty much it let me just show you how the purse looks on the inside there it is okay and it does have one pocket it has a pocket on the outside and a pocket on the inside and the inside pocket is not um, it doesn't zip or anything like that so anyway that is pretty much it let me know down in the comments if you're one to switch up your bags weekly and when you switch up your bags do you switch them up to kind of address you know uh, where you're going for the day or the week or do you just kind of let it ride do you just have everything all in there and it, it's just gonna address any kind of need uh, no matter what let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches.